Hello everyone! Today I wanna present a concept called the logistic map and some funny things it does despite its simple definition. The logistic map is a formula popularized by the biologist Robert May. It serves to calculate how population size changes over time. Let's assume you have a piece of land inhabited by rabbits and you'd like to know how many rabbits there will be each year in the future. X n plus 1 is the next year population size. R is the reproduction rate. X n is current year population size, related to maximum possible population constrained by available food. The formula is called a recurrence relation because it defines population in a year in terms of population in previous year. It has two parts to capture two effects. Rxn, reproduction at a rate proportional to the current population. The more rabbits there are, the more children there will be. 1 minus Xn, starvation. The larger the population size, the faster it will consume all available food. And in extreme case, when population size xn equals to 1, then 1 minus xn equals 0, which means nobody will survive, because all available food will be consumed before the nature produces new food. There is also a less obvious but important assumption that reproduction doesn't happen continuously but at specific time intervals, for example during each year's spring. It's hidden in the fact that we compute xn plus 1 from xn, but we disregard anything between n and n plus 1, for example n plus a half. Now let's assume reproduction rate r equal to 0 0.8 and look at the sequence x1, x2, x3 and so on. And now r equals 1.5. 2 2.8 and 3. For r above 2, xn oscillates between two values but finally converges to a single point. To capture all these cases together, you can make another plot where we take the limit values that xn approaches and put them on the points corresponding to r. As long as r hasn't exceeded 3, the behavior was quite simple and predictable, except maybe that oscillation, but it finally boiled down to a single limit value anyway. Now let's try r slightly greater than 3. This time we have an oscillation that won't fade away. The sequence doesn't converge to a limit in the strict sense, but I'll consider it to have a limit consisting of these two values between which xn oscillates. Therefore I mark two points at the right plot. The rabbit population will experience a series of booms and busts. There will be years with plenty of rabbits, interleaved with years of scarcity. With increasing r, these two values move farther from each other until r exceeds 1 and square root of 6. Then the oscillation pattern will change so as to cycle between 4 distinct values instead of 2. Each of these points on R axis where the oscillation changes from M valued to 2M valued is called a period doubling bifurcation. The period is the number of steps after which the sequence repeats. And the word bifurcation comes from Latin words bi meaning two and furca meaning a fork. As you can guess, further increase of R will bring further period doubling bifurcations. These bifurcations happen at shorter and shorter intervals of R. The intervals become so short that a part of them is even invisible on this graph scale. The ratio between two subsequent intervals approaches a value called the Feigenbaum constant. This behavior continues with infinitely many period doublings, but the interval between two successive doublings shrinks so quickly that this infinite number of intervals fits into finite range of R. So what's next? After exceeding the accumulation point, chaos arises. The sequence is no longer periodical, we got a pseudo-random number generator. This chaos is maintained for almost all R values up to 4, except for narrow ranges, which exhibit periodic oscillation again, this time the period not necessarily being a power of 2. 
these ranges are called islands of stability among chaos. If we zoom in, a part of the plot surrounding an island of stability, it resembles the whole plot. Finally, for r greater than 4, the x n values will oscillate with ever increasing amplitude. They are not shown here because when the amplitude is ever increasing, there is no limit. The limits will be positive and negative infinities. Not only can we look at the graph, we can also make the sound of it when we assume the XN sequence represents air pressure changing over time. I'll take the liberty of changing R slowly while iterating over the sequence. 